what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel so today's video we are going to be changing the oil on the g37 i did run it up to i think a little over 3,000, maybe 4,000 miles with the oil that that's in it right now but this oh gosh but this time we're gonna do it a little different I did buy a new tool so that I can service our cars and hopefully it makes life a little easier. So this is what I bought guys. This is an oil extractor. Uh, comes with a few extra seals and fittings. I bought this on Amazon for 70 bucks uh, shipped to my house. And uh, I hear nothing but good things about these extractors or these pumps. So this brand right here is by Four Uncles. Uh, so far, the build quality to me is good. There's nothing cheap on it. And I'm very happy with how everything looks and feels. Uh, it does come with separate hoses so that you, know, you can use the right size for your dipstick every car has a different size dipstick so comes with different hoses and like I said it comes with extra seals and fittings just in case you need to like extract anything else uh, this is a this is not a hard line right here but you can use it for other things uh, you can extract oil you can extract water coolant uh, your brake oil, uh, brake fluid, and whatever you need it to use uh, to make less mess. So what we're going to do is, I already got my car on jack stands, and I did a walk around after so long. I went underneath, I checked the test pipes, I checked the drive shaft, uh, differential, uh, engine, and there's no leaks and there's nothing loose and I'm honestly I'm surprised guys because <laughs> I've been driving this car often uh, lately so I'm just surprised that it's still running strong and there's nothing wrong with anything um, eventually something's gonna go get loose or start leaking but you know that all depends on how you drive your car so anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and start extracting the oil um, what I'm gonna do just take out the dipstick. I'm gonna make a little mess here because I'm only I'm only doing this with one hand. So check out that oil. It is a little little brown there. So put that there. Just wipe it a little bit. Just place that to the side. And I'm gonna use the smallest one. Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use the smallest one first, just to you know try to see where this goes. So there you go, guys. And this is a long tube right here. Look at this, super long. So I'm gonna shove this down. It looks like that's the bottom right there. So what you want to do is kind of like twist it around and see if uh, it'll go anymore. But I feel like that's the bottom. And just for the future, you might want to mark this point right here with a marker just to get a good idea of where you should be expecting it to bottom out. Um, yeah, I, I just, I feel like that's the bottom already. All right, well, let's connect another hose. So what you want to do is get this hose. This is the main hose right here. And this is a fatter line. And you want to get the pump. Put this to the side. So here's the pump, guys. What you want to do is move this to the side. And this is where you're going to connect the main hose, which is this right here. So, put it right here. I'll show you guys can see. 
push it down and then just lock it in just like that you guys can see that lock right there and what we want to do is connect this line to this part right here hold on one second I am going to plug it in oh yeah I could do it like this okay so what you want to do is shove it into this line right here and you got a seal and I think we're ready to go guys uh so just make sure this is all the way down and you're connected to the main line which is connected to the pump and I guess we're ready to bug you guys I'm kind of nervous because this is my first time using this so let me pull it up and see if it starts sucking oh, I hear it already It's not doing it. I don't see it coming up. Oh, there it is, guys. Look. It's coming out right there. Oh. So that's open. I guess you have to close this breather. Let's see how fast it comes now. Oh yeah, there you go. It's coming faster now. Hmm. I feel like I'm using the wrong size hose. Oh, well maybe it needs to be open. All right, this oil is coming into slow. See, it's just right there only. I think I'm gonna change the hose. Hold on one second, guys. All right, so there's a next size up right here. I think this hose right here was just too small. So not a lot of oil can like travel through that too. So that's why it was kind of going slow. So I'm going to go to the next size up, which is a lot fatter. And let's see how this works. I hope it goes all the way down. Okay, that's the bottom right there. And again, guys, uh, I would mark it right here just so that you know what's the bottom and how far it goes down. You don't want to force it down because sometimes maybe the tube might bend and then it might just come back up like that. It is like a straw, so so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it right there. So let me connect this hose. What the heck is this? Oh gosh, I don't even know what this is, guys. came with this... Um, this metal thing right here. I don't know what that is. All right, so let me connect this hose again. Connect it like that. All right, so it's in, it's connected. So let's try this again. Oh wow, look, it's coming in faster, guys. Look at that. Way faster. Oh no! Wow, this fitting just came out. All right, so the fitting came out, so nothing to worry about. 
I mean, it's easy fix, so I just put it back in. So let me try this again. But there you go, see? Things coming, coming quick again. I'm not sure if it's uh I think when you get a vacuum you close this breather valve and it, it, it it becomes like a siphon. All right, guys, I figured it out. I'm such a noob at this, but this is my first time using it. So as you can see, the line doesn't have any oil in it because it went into the extractor or it went back into the engine. So these extractors are not made for you to pump consistently to get all the oil out. What you have to do is you have to pump until the oil starts coming into the the canister, and once it's, once you hear it start uh, dripping into it, you stop pumping because it creates a a siphon and it starts taking it all out. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works right now. Now I got confused because this right here is for um, uh, a compressor, and I was pumping it with this open. So when you pump. You can hear, you can hear that. Um, see, it's 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 getting it's getting the oil right there. But you gotta close that. Oh, I'm sorry, I got this all opposite. Um, this is closed right now, but if you open it, it's not gonna have the suction to create that siphon. So this is what you do. So I, this is what I was doing. I had this open for the compressor, so when I was pumping it, it would come out, but it wouldn't create that suction for the siphon to get the oil into the canister. So if you purchase a pump with this uh, feature, you want to close this. So let me show you guys. Uh, I'm going to start pumping and you'll start seeing the oil com come out. See, there it is right there. And you want to pump until it comes into the into the canister. You can hear it. Sounds like bubble guts. So what you want to do is just let that do its job. And do another pump. See, there's a lot of vacuum in there already. So what happens is once it gets a good siphon going, it will start coming out of the engine into the the pump extractor and what you want to do is you want to you want to watch your level see I'm at the first line right there you can see uh, when it's done it should you should start seeing the hose empty out or shaking and I believe this is one liter right here one two three four five or I'm not sure how I'm not sure the capacity of it but I'm gonna let it do its job and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so that siphon that I did the first time got it up to that point, and it looks like it went away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more pumps. Let's see what it does. See, there, there it is, right there. So I guess when it loses its siphon just give it a couple pumps and it'll continue sucking it out of the engine okay so i'm at the bottom already uh it's almost empty but i want you guys to hear how it sounds like when it empties out so i'm gonna pump it oh well actually no there's more guys but 
I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but it was starting to. It was starting to empty, like you could hear it like sucking, and then I shoved the the hose down more, and I think I'm getting. Yeah, you can hear that. See, guys, the hose is moving. That means that it's empty. It's getting empty already. And check out the container. All right. Let me see if I can get more. All right, I think I have everything, guys. But I am going to go underneath and I'm gonna show you exactly how much is still in the pan. So we're gonna see if these things are actually accurate. Uh, if it's worth buying, uh, let's go into there, guys. All right, and putting this thing away is super easy. Uh, basically, I just took out the hoses and I blew through them into my towel. You're not going to get everything out unless you want to spray brake fluid in there or whatever. It's up to you. Right now, I don't care. I'm just trying to change my oil. Um, I mean, this is a convenient way to change your oil. Like, seriously, if you keep one of these in your trunk, you can literally change your oil anywhere you go like if you drive somewhere and then uh you park your car you go to like a party or something or you go to work and you're like yeah hey, you know what I just, or or you just want to go to the park or something and then you just ha happen to have your oil and you want to change your oil this right here is going to allow you to do that and i mean look guys there's no mess nothing i mean you can see all the oil inside there all you have to do is put the cap on it and you're ready to go like you can change your oil and then after you're done, you can bring this to your nearest O'Reilly or AutoZone and dump this oil into their um, their box, you know, their oil containers, recycle oil containers. And yeah, I mean, this thing is awesome, guys. It makes life a lot easier. I know it took a long time for me to figure out how to pump the oil out of the engine, but I did explain to you why, um, I did explain to you how it works, so that's why it took me so long. So what you have to do is you got to keep pumping it. Once you see the oil come, uh, let that siphon. And once it loses pressure, you can go ahead and give it another pump or two to get it going again. And that's how these work. Unless you use the air, the air accessory. You can connect it to a compressor. Um, once you, I guess, let air in, it's going to just suck it out on its own. I don't know. I've never tried it. Uh, that's going to be another video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and put this back in. This is the dipstick. And we're going to go underneath and we're going to go ahead and take out the oil and oil filter. Alright, so let's take out this oil filter. Alright, we're going to let that drain. And we're going to take out the drain plug. See how much is in there, guys. Is ready for this? Oh, wow! It took everything out, guys. Look at that. It's not even dripping. Wow. The only thing dripping is the filter. I am very impressed, guys. Look at that, dry. Wow. I believe, I believe guys. So this is how much oil came out. As you guys can see right there, it says five liters. Um, it's just right over that, it's like right here. So, if that's 
in there there's still more in the engine uh you guys you guys have to just accept that there's still a little more engine oil um especially for this car i'm using a 30 roll oil cooler right in the front uh i can't really show you because it's like hidden but it's right behind my heat exchanger uh, i got two 30 roll oil coolers one for the engine and one for the transmission so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and change the oil. Uh, this is what I'm using right here. I use Shell Rotella T6. This is a 5W40 uh, for commercial vehicles, heavy duty uh, diesel engine oil. Uh, the reason why I use this is because um, it holds heat down better than your uh, normal engine oils that you use like uh, Mobile One, uh, some of you might use um, the Nissan uh, Ester Oil. I used to use those, but my tuner told me to start using uh, Rotella. And for our filter, uh, some of you might not know this, but Ford does make a oil filter. I guess you can use a cross-reference at your local store, but um the reason why i use this is because we have a ford f-250 and we use nothing but oem spec parts on it or replacement parts and motor motorcraft is like oem part for ford <clears throat> and i found out that you can use uh motorcraft parts for our cars they actually make an oil filter for our car so this is the part number f L816 whatever I don't know I'm not sure but this is a good filter guys I I noticed that my oils are a lot more clear using like Fram or all the other filters that you can buy at O'Reilly or AutoZone I noticed that this right here does a better job and I'm not just saying that uh, you guys saw my dipstick and that was like around 4,000 miles already, <clears throat> maybe almost 5,000. But I do change the oil on this car uh, more often than the other cars. So, yeah, if you guys want, uh, this is the part number. Check it out. So let's put this on. That's how it looks right there. Ah. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this existing oil right here. Let's put a tip like this. Just a tip, guys. Alright, looks good. these too tight I'd rather tighten them with just your own strength they're not supposed to be tight anyway so that's good right there and we're gonna wipe it down oh actually we're gonna put the drain plug back on and check that out guys it's still dry not even one drip I'm telling you this oil pump extractor is pretty awesome this doesn't need to be tight as well okay just like that and then we're gonna wipe down the bottom it's my oil cooler lens right there that's it guys look at that I do want to mention something that I did learn recently. I did watch a video on the Lexus LFA and those cars come with oil coolers. 
Now, a lot of people don't know this. I mean, you might, but the way you change oils on these cars that are equipped with an oil cooler is you change the oil, just like what I did. Um, and you can't get the oil inside the oil cooler unless you physically take it out. Now, if you want to go through the hassle of removing your oil filter and draining it and, and taking out the remaining oil that's in there, go ahead. But the way that Lexus uh, does it for the LFA is they change the oil and they run the car for about five minutes and then they drain the oil again and then they put new oil into it just to get the remaining um, oil that's in the oil cooler. But in my case, I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty happy with how the oil looked to begin with. Um, Again, that's all preference. If you guys want to do that, that's it's up to you. But, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add oil, run the car, and maybe change it a little sooner than what I did uh, this time. So, yeah, just keep in mind, guys. So, we just finished filling up the oil. Uh, I like to put just a little over the full because if you don't put oil into the filter, that level is going to go down anyway. Um, but I'm, I'm going to start it right now. I'm going to start it for like maybe three, five minutes. Let it warm up and then see where the level is. Um, I don't know if you guys have this problem, but this oil cap is hella hard to take off sometimes. So what I do is I just hand tighten it to like where I can undo it. Because sometimes I need to get some vice grips to unlo like loosen up the oil cap. I'm not sure if you guys have the same problem. Uh, it's not a big problem, but I think I just think it's funny because sometimes I can't even do it with my hand. I don't have that kung fu grip, you know. But yeah, let's go ahead and start it. I want to go ahead and bring you guys with me. Uh oh, where's my keys at? Make sure your work area is cleared. No tools, no rags. Underneath is. Nice and clean, no tools. Dipsticks all the way in. Oil cap is tightened. Let's go for it, guys. Check the oil level, guys. Mm. As you guys can see, I'm like way off. I'm like at the halfway point, but that's not a bad thing, guys. That means I didn't put enough oil in it to cover for the oil filter. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more. All right. Mm. 
Looks like we are just right above the full mark. So we're full guys. And you know, just just to throw it out there, oil does expand when it heats up. So it might just it rise up, it might just rise up a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I've seen cars with a little bit more oil past the, the full mark and it's it's fine guys, you don't have to worry. Um as long as it's not like way up there, you know, I mean, you'll start messing up seals and stuff. But if it's a little over full, you don't have to worry. Um, so, yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, I'm done changing the oil. Now, the whole point of this video is to show you how this oil extractor works. Now, for some reason, I thought you can fill oil up too with this thing. But I don't see why you should do it compared to like what I just did. Um... This thing is so worth the money. Like, I, I showed you guys how clean, dry, it sucked out all the oil from the pan. Um, I highly recommend this. Like, this will make life a lot easier. And you probably would change your oil more often because it's so easy. Like, you could just do it while, while the car is down. Um, and you can prolong your oil filters, you know, I mean, if you don't want to change them. I mean, the only reason why you have to lift up the car and go under there is just to change the filter. But besides that, this thing is, I give it 100%. Like, get one, guys. Like, even if it's just, uh, like, a cheap one, as long as it does the job of extracting the oil from your engine, so worth the money, guys. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was a little long, but I wanted to give you guys a detailed video on how I changed the oil on the G37 with an oil extractor. So, see you guys at the, at the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.